So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So you might now got yourself a brand new fire stick and you're wondering what do I do now? Well stay tuned. I'll show you how to set it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do the basic setup on your brand new fire stick. It could be the fire stick 4K. Fire Stick Lite, Fire Stick Max, it's all gonna be set up the same way. So when you go ahead and you unbox it and you go ahead and plug it into the wall, plug it into the HDMI in the back of your TV, it comes up and says Fire TV. Next thing it's gonna do is say, go ahead and click on that home button so that way the remote pairs to your Fire Stick. After it does that, it asks you to go ahead and press the play pause button. So I'm going to do that right now. Now it asks you to go ahead and select the language. I'm English, so I click on OK. Now you can go ahead and set up the app with a Fire TV app, or you can set up with remote. I'm going to choose remote. Scanning for networks. Once you went ahead and you selected your network that you're on, it asks you to go ahead and put in your password. Go ahead and put in your password and then say go. It'll say connection successful. Now what it's going to do is download the latest software. Let's give that a little while to download and then we'll come right back to continue. Once the update is all finished, then it goes ahead, changes the screen for you and says, have an account, sign in or new to Amazon, create a free account. I'm going to go ahead now and click on, I have an account, I'm going to sign in. You can sign in two different ways. You could go to amazon.com forward slash code when prompted, or you could go ahead, scan in with QRC code. I'm going to go ahead and scan in with QRC code. When I do that, it brings it up on my phone to my Amazon account. I go ahead, I verify, put in my password. I make sure that the number shown on the screen here is correct. And I will say continue on my app on my phone. I'm going to give it a minute, come right back. After you type in all your information that you needed to type in when they direct you to your Amazon account, it's gonna come up and make sure that it's you. You say, you go ahead and continue. Then it comes over and says, save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. I don't do that, so I say no. Next, it's going to come up and say, we're giving you Prime free for 30 days. You could go ahead and try it. You just have to remember to cancel or to say not now. I'm clicking on not now. Now you also could go ahead and you can set it up for kid friendly content. $7.99 a month after the free trial. I'm going to say no thanks. Choose your streaming services. I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm going to say no thanks. I always can add on things later if I want to. Your Fire Stick 4K is designed with kids and parents in mind. You can go ahead and enable parental controls or no parental controls. It's up to you. Right now, I say no. Welcome to Fire TV. Go ahead and click on got it. On this screen here, it's asking who's watching Fire TV. I have it set for T4S. You can also go over and add a profile or you could go down and you could change your profile. You could go to the edit button, change it right here, profile icon, you could choose one of these icons or you don't have to do any at all. Let me click the back button. Once you have done that, you can go ahead down and click on save. If you go to add a profile, you click on it, comes up and says, is it a kid's profile? You click on yes or no, enter the name, same thing. Choose a profile icon and then say add. Go on to click the back button and then I'm going down to where it says T for S and clicking on it. Now it's going to go ahead and bring me right into the home screen of the Fire Stick. Once you're on the home screen of your Fire Stick, again, it doesn't matter what it is, the 4K Max or the light, it's all going to be the same. What you want to do is go over to the right to where the gear is. Go ahead, click on the gear, and let's go down to where it says My Fire TV. Go ahead and click on it. Go ahead, click on About. Once you get developer options, go ahead and click on it. 
ADB debugging, go ahead and say on. Apps from unknown sources. When we get one of those apps, you will come back into here and you'll have to go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead now, click the back button. Click it again. Let's go up to preferences. Let's click on preferences. Parental controls, go ahead and click on it and they're off. Again, if you want to change them, you just go ahead and turn them on. Privacy settings, go ahead and click on it. Device usage data. Use personal data collected. So I'm going to click on it and say turn off. Collect that. Again, I'm going to turn it off. Interest-based ads. Turn it off. The less ads, the better. Click on the back button. Data usage monitoring. Go ahead and click on it. It's off. Let's leave it off. Click the back button. Notification settings. Let's go ahead, click on it. Do not interrupt. Keep it off. Or apps, notifications, you can turn it on. Alexa notifications. Go ahead, turn it off if you don't want to be bothered with that. Click the back button. Back again. Feature content. Allow video autoplay. It's up to you. You can leave it on, turn it off. I leave it on. I don't mind it. Go ahead, click the back button again. Let's go ahead now, click on the home button on your remote. Once we're on the home screen, let's go over to the left, click on find, go down to search, and let's click on search. Now with all people use on YouTube, when you're looking for something and they tell you, go ahead and install a certain item, they may give you a URL, or they may give you a five number code to type in. To type in those information, you need a program. Type in D. Then type in O. Let's go down to Downloader. It's a very popular app that you're going to be using a lot. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to say download you own it. Let's go ahead and get it now. Give it a minute. If you like what you're seeing, please click on that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell. That way you know when I put up other videos for you to enjoy. Go ahead and click on OK. Click on Open. Once it's here, allow downloader to access photos, media, and files on your device. Say allow. Then say OK to this. Now what you're going to have to do is enter a URL or search term. This is where you enter in a URL for whatever you're looking for, or you could go ahead and type in a five-digit code number that you've seen from another person's web page that you want, and you go ahead and type it in here. Once you type it in, then you go click on go, it redirects you to the page that you're going to, and then you do what you need to do. Let's go ahead now and click on that home button. Let's go back over to the gear or settings, click on it. Let's go down to my fire TV, click on developer options, go down to where it says apps from unknown sources. And now you have to go ahead and turn them on. Why? Because you just downloaded downloader and downloader needs to have unknown sources to be able to come in and download whatever program you want. Go ahead now, click on that home button of your remote and back onto the home screen of your Fire Stick. So once you're back onto the home screen of your Fire Stick, let's go over to the box with the three squares and a plus sign. Go ahead and click on it. Let's go down over to the right where Downloader is. On your remote, there's a three line button. Go ahead and click on it. Let's say move to front, goes into first position, Go ahead and click on the home button now, and then downloader is always there on the front line. Always remember when you do download something and you go into the box with the three squares and a plus sign, your download is always going to be on the bottom. I hope you find this video very helpful. Leave your comments down below. Ring that bell, like and subscribe, and remember, day or night, it's time for streaming. <laughs>